Okay, episode 17. In three days, we're going to play. Kansas City is going to play Malabon in Division 5. So, uh, Division 5 is a very uh, tricky competition for Kansas City because uh, even though even though the Kansas City have 21 million overall balance it doesn't reflect on our transfer budget as you can see on the right side of the screen in the budgets department the transfer budget is zero and the wage budget is only one thousand hundred thirty eight dollars per month and you can see here on the right side also that we are already on the red that means uh, we are overspending so there's no way uh, uh, we can improve the squad with um, new acquisition or, or better players but we will try to uh, I'm gonna try to talk to the, uh, to the board to persuade them to um, to inject some cash for our transfer budget but as you can see here in the finance there is no um, um, talking I cannot talk to them about increasing the transfer budget except only increase a percentage of transfer revenue and increase which budget this one maybe I'll try Welcome, this is Grant Reston, I'm talking to the chairman of the Kesson City. Welcome, what would you like to discuss today? I would like the wage budget increase to attract higher reputation players. I'm desperate for more flexibility in the wage budget. We can't afford to pay everyone what they deserve and we're running a huge risk of losing what is impressive core to this squad. This one, I would like the wage budget increase to attract higher reputation players. We believe the current wage budget is sufficient for you to reach your objectives. Therefore, your request is rejected, rejected again. So, one more time, if this request isn't granted, I can see the club being left behind by our rivals. Um, so. The chairman is adamant on not giving us the wage budget. We feel the club is operating an acceptable level and therefore still refuse to grant your request. So we, we will not um, push for more. I can pretend that I am not disappointed but I do understand. That concludes the meeting so maybe after a month, after a couple of months and um, if we can get the team on the winning side and maybe he will increase the budget, they will change his mind. So for fourteen. Today is October 13, New Philippines star Tanks De Vera. <laughs> Kenneth Vitan has spoken his pride of winning his first cup for Philippines under Fernando De Vera. Hmm, okay. And of the mark for Philippines. Fiesta City under 23, win an under 23 cup second round. Transfer and contracts advice summary. I'm not interested in that because uh, as you can see, these players are average players. I'm going to uh, release them when we get the um, transfer budget that we, are, we want, we've been wanting. Malabon favorites for Quezon City Clash. They are fav Malabon is favorite because they are in the second, currently in the second place, while Quezon City is only in the fifth place. 
This though understands the Vera doesn't have it easy. Over who? Full molders, okay. Press conference. Lucas Armet, the Filipino football review. Else we are more quick play at Don't no doubt. Keen to show that they have what it takes to be promoted. What do you rate their chances of doing that? I just want to concentrate on my own team. I just want to concentrate, man. There has been a lot of speculation this week surrounding the future of Chalnia de Roja, with pundits critical and some fans apparently losing patience with the Isabella manager. What are your thoughts on the matter? I hope Isabella stick with him. You don't get anywhere in this game through knee-jerk decisions. I tend to support other managers. The team has done well with, the, with its match preparation training in recent weeks. Okay, that's good. That's very good. KG press conference from the Veta. Pretty much tactical. We're going to handle it the same way that we've been handling our pre-match. Formation 1 core. I think our 442 formation will work best today. Mentality counter. It's important to go with a counter mentality here today. And shape flexible will do well here if we use a flexible shape. Let's end the meeting. So let's see how what game is this in the division five? This is our uh, Malabon is going to be our ninth ninth game in division five. Um, this has a potential of um, twenty years old Michael Taneko. Potential is three sixty one is. Um, Alleged would be a useful signing, 61. Let's keep scouting this guy. Will we see the rest on is better than that? It's three and a half star with 69. Keep scouting. Okay, these guys I need match uh, sharpness. So we'll have them ready for tomorrow's um, reserves match. Team selection, tactics, match plans. Okay, everything's ready, everyone's ready. Familiarity, all fluid. That's good. Good to go. So, we're going to save before the match. To avoid any, um, what you call this, to avoid any um, unexpected shutdown of my PC because as I've told in the past, uh, my PC, my laptop is very old and has lots of problems. As you can see in the left side of the screen, there are two, two uh, big black circles. So let's submit. Let's go to the dressing room. They're uh, warming up. Let's go to the dressing room. Team talk. Calm. I expect nothing but a win from this match to cut our recent run of bad results. No particular reaction. I have faith in you. Get out there and make a difference. Same thing. And same thing. So let's go for the tunnel interview. 
You come into this one having struggled a little of late while your opponents are riding the crest of a wave. Do you anticipate another bad day at the office today? Uh, we're up against a very good team and clearly we're not playing anywhere near our best. If things continue as they have been, then it's going to be another tough 90 minutes now. Yeah, this one. I'm going to answer this with, um, it's hard to say really. If we play as well as I know we can, then we can get a result. The public will want to hear a proper answer from you. You come to this one having struggled of late while your opponent are riding the crest of a wave. Do you anticipate another bad day? No. No. Okay. Let's change one more time. Well, it's going to be hard to get a result, but my players are always up for a challenge, and we're looking forward to it. So, Season um, Division 5, Season 1, Episode 17, Game 9 in Division 5. Let's play.
after the half time, the score is 1-1. One, one. It's kind of not good to concede uh, to concede against uh, Malabon and um, just seconds away from the half time. So it's uh, it's a kind of disheartening. So let's uh, review the match stats. Shots in terms of shots, seven Malabon, eleven Quezon City. We're a more attacking team now uh, against this Malabon. We attack more. Shots on target, uh, two apiece. Total fouls. This is very good because uh, in total fouls, Malabon have ten fouls, while our club have only two fouls. In terms of yellow cards, there are no yellow cards. How is that possible? Ten fouls from Malabon and they have no yellow cards. What's the referee doing? This is um, not good refereeing. Huh? I don't like that. So in terms of possession battle, we uh, we are we have a good uh, game in possession. Sixty percent for Quezon City and only forty percent for Malabon. So let's start. Let's start the second half. Team talk. Passionate. We've been the better team here. Just keep doing what you've been doing and we'll be fine. Okay, passionate. You weren't that bad, but I believe you can still improve. I have faith in you. Same thing for the midfield. Passionate. You weren't that bad, but I believe you can still improve. I have faith in you. And the forwards. Passionate again. You weren't that bad, but I believe you can still improve. I have faith in you. Let's end the team talk and let's start the second half.
Full time, Quezon City lose to Malabon in the game that we, the Quezon City, dominated in shots, passing target, and possession. So the slump, Quezon City slump continues. I'm far from pleased with what I saw from just from this team. Let's do the match. So that will be Quezon City's record: four wins, one draw, and four loss, and that drops us from fifth to number nine. So next game would be against Antique on Division Five. In seven days. So that will be it. Season one, episode seventeen. Division five. Game nine. Again, I would like to apologize for the poor video quality because uh, my self, I'm only using my cell phone as my camera and the laptop is uh, have these two um, black circles because my laptop screen has uh, already damaged. Thank you very much for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you like this video. See you again in episode 18.